We recently added a new feature to Kittle, giving you the ability to give an outline or even an extra outline to illustrations and text in Kittle. Now, if you're wondering how to do it, it's super easy and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But hey, if you don't have Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up using the link in the description and then you can follow along with me. So let's go. So let's jump right into it. As you can see here, I've got an illustration. If I click on it, you can already see there's this border weight here, which applies to almost virtually almost everything in Kittle now. And so you can see I can slide it around. I can go all the way up to 100 if I want. So you can go from 0 to 100. I can go in the colors and I can change it to anything else I want. It's going to apply that quickly and easily while keeping the rest of the colors of the illustration intact. I can even lower the opacity here. Maybe you want the, the illustration to come through, but maybe you just want a little bit of like shadow or something in the background to come through. You can easily do that as well. It's fully customizable that way. And what's really great about this border weight effect is that it applies again, like I said, to virtually almost everything in Kittle. So here we have this really crazy element, uh, super Victorian and boom, I can add a weight to the outside of this so let's pick like that gold maybe we want to expand that gold and so boom there it is I can keep going out maybe if I wanted to do a sticker just keep in mind that it doesn't affect the inside flourishes and weights inside here it's just the outside that the border is going to affect like that so here's a simple icon that we have here, but let's say we want to beef it up a little bit. Boom, we can go up here to the border weight and I can start dragging it. And as you can see, as I start dragging it to the right, it makes it a lot more weighted, a lot more thick. And if we want it to be somewhere in the medium like that, boom, we can do that easily. Now we can also turn that off. Let me turn these rays on. Same thing to elements like this we have in Kittle. If we think that's a little bit too thin, now we can add border and make them a lot thicker, which is a super cool way to do that. So here is a pineapple and let's show you how we can do a sticker effect here. And I've got the weight all the way turned up to white, but maybe we can do like a double sticker effect here. So I've duplicated it. You can hit alter option and drag or command C, command V. And now I can change the one in front to a different color. So let's pick a different color for the border weight here. And so after I have that selected, I can turn that down and boom, you can still see that white. So this would be perfect for making stickers and things like that super easily. So let's talk about how we can apply this effect to text. So now you can have a normal weight there, as you can see, for your text. But if we wanted to do a full border weight, we're going to use one of these two shadows here on the right. So these two shadows are what are going to give you the ability. The left two shadows will not. So let me click this first one, just the block shadow. And of course, you can move the offset, things like that. But now we have outline width here, which is basically like a perfect offset path for you Adobe Illustrator people. Again, you can go all the way up to 100 and you can still change your offset and your angles and things like that to get some really crazy cool text effects. But as you can see, your outer width still stays the same, which is a really nice feature. Now, if I turn all those off, now I'm just left with the width, which is really cool. Again, for something like stickers or keychains, something where you need that outline to touch all the way around, this is a perfect way to do it. And of course, your text decorations and things like that still apply and they will stay the same even with that outer width. So one last effect, let's go back up to the text effects and let's click that, that 3D block shadow, that beveled shadow. And let's give it a little bit of offset and I'm going to show you what it looks like with the outline on. So let me turn this up and as I can turn it up you can see that it starts outlining the whole thing including the top. And so this is a really cool way to get a kind of retro sticker effect. Now what I can do is duplicate it just like I did before. You can hold alt or option and drag or again command or control C and V. I'll send that to the back and then what I can do is I can go over and I can change the outer width to a different color. So let me grab that color here and change it to white. And so as you can see, as I can start moving it up, boom, now I've got my white sticker border if I wanted to do some kind of vinyl cut. Of course, you see that little piece there in the middle, you wanna fill that with white most likely as well, depends on your printer. But you could do this multiple times and get some really cool effects. So as you can see here, here is a couple of different illustrations I've applied the outline to, and it's really great for sticker designs or like this where you have a layout and you want the full layout to have a border around it. It's super easy to do with just a couple of seconds moving a slider.
Now, if you wanna see more cool tips and tricks using Kittle, go ahead and click these videos on my right. I know you're gonna love them. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.